would like to welcome the second speaker of the day. It's my privilege to introduce Gautam Sarang. Gautam ji is an educator, entrepreneur, and global citizen. He hails from Atapadi, a remote village in Kerala, India, and works as a web developer. Realizing that education is the practice of living and letting live, his parents established Sarang. <clears throat> a life based learning center his education at sarang helped him take on many roles in life with clarity at the at the time his parents dreamt of education beyond schools it was unheard of today there are many working in the field of education taking inspiration from sarang working towards taking the sarang experience to children parents and teachers gotham is seeking team members and resources His session topic is UX user experience in education and educators perspective. Please welcome Gautam Saranji and the stage is all yours. Welcome sir. Are uh, you need to unmute yourself? The classic Sundar Pichai example no. <laughs> yeah. Okay so good evening uh, everybody thank you Charles for the lovely introduction uh, I'll just take a minute to set up my presentation Let me know when you can see my screen. I'll do that. I, it's it's there. It's there. Okay. Great and looks good. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you once again. So I would like to introduce myself also as uh, son, brother, friend, partner, and father of these uh, three little beautiful human beings. Uh, <laughs> so for the best experience of my presentation. please turn on your cameras and lend me your undivided attention um because education and user experience obviously i have to do a bit of explanation in the next 15 minutes i will try my level best uh, if there is an overflow as puja said i am only happy to discuss further even after this program so uh, can i see your faces please i will be proceeding but uh, please start showing your faces so that i also feel like you know this is not too virtual All right so <clears throat> user experience is a term used around digital devices and interactions it's the smooth animation we see on our unlock screens or the satisfying pop sound uh, we hear when a message is successfully sent in whatsapp however i am using it in here the in a, in a broader context as described by wikipedia the user experience is how a user interacts with and experiences a product system or a service in that sense it can be the portholes you don't feel due to shock absorbers or the warmth you feel when you see your mother tongue on a foreign land it's about how you the user experience a system or a service consider education as a system and a service students will be the primary users parents teachers and others involved will be uh, will be the the, the secondary uh, users <clears throat> and we are talking about the experience of each of these users but focusing on children mostly yeah look at those numbers uh i will actually say forget about those numbers because education is not a mere business sector it is the foundation of our day to day businesses our species uh please keep in uh, keep an open mind about this otherwise you might miss the main points of today's discussion it's not about the numbers it's about actually what we do in education have you noticed that we are a newer version of ourselves every now and then like the apps that annoyingly update very often a happy scene from a movie a concert a new person we meet 
a casual remark that hurts uh, a new product in the market an instagram reel as we respond to our environment and we take information and data and process we change a little within ourselves this change is mostly subtle among adults that's why you know like we miss uh, a person being depressed uh, very easily but very evident in children the change becomes less evident as we grow up but we never stop updating ourselves so coming back to the point this response of ours is part of survival and this process of updating ourselves is education it is open source natural and a continuous process it is dangerously unfiltered and not limited to the institutionalized learning and certification no offense please uh, please take it in the right spirit maybe the question is how educators and educational institution and institutions can expand their horizons so that we can actually get involved in this day to day uh, changes within our education as it happens coming to the third point which is the users let's focus up, uh, on children the primary users uh, that is when we lay the foundation of our life ahead the primary learning environments are our homes and schools from where uh, we get the materials for our foundation they the children may pick up uh, bullying kindness gender equality or inequality conservation or power games all from these environments as i said other than parents teachers and other adults around it's a dangerously unfiltered environment just to summarize these three things user experience is the way we interact with the system or a service and we are taking education as a system and service here in our context today and users are the primary focus uh, people when we talk about education because this user experience in education is all about the users which is basically children now empathy is the most important aspect of ux design one should step into the shoes of a user to design the best user experience for example the process behind making this app clutter free and user friendly you can see the compare between the left and right uh, left side you can see all the clutter and right side you can see it is uh, you know like you know, it is more eye friendly now thumb placement strain to the eye and the user behavior data were factors that went behind this new design let me read a quote design thinking cannot begin without a deeper understanding of the people you are designing for in order to gain those insights it's important for you as a design thinker to empathize with the people you are designing for so that you can understand their needs thoughts emotions and motivations and this is the most important part i guess when it comes to any user experience designing understanding their needs thoughts emotions and motivations now what is the perfect design the perfect curriculum the perfect school or college the perfect educational system modern services including the apps that we are talking about here go through some basic processes it keeps improving according to the variable factors like user requirements the functionalities are developed based on the user requirements then it is tested in staging environments before it is released to the real user it doesn't stop there the user behavior and feedbacks are taken as the new requirement and pushed into the same cycle again as you can see user is the core in any product or service agile methodology sounds fancy i know that but think about it this is how we change ourselves every day protecting ourselves from the virus was a requirement we designed new functionalities we tested them deployed them the new requirements came and we are developing new functionalities this is how nature works evolution sounds similar and this is how education sector should work because as far as humans are concerned education is the way we prepare our next generation to face life and it involves the most important user of all time the next generation so aren't we already taking child centric measures montessori education is based on hands on learning 
self directed directed activity and collaborative play uh, waldorf education is about engaging head heart and hands or thinking feeling and doing so rnb there already rnb already taking up child centric measures in our schools and homes or are we i will actually let you answer the, that question i mean i don't think i have to answer that question for you but i'll tell you this by the time we end the session today we have lost one more student from the sea 21% increase is there among the students uh, suicides you know since the pandemic started so i'm just asking i'm just wondering again are we understanding the needs thoughts emotions and motivations of our students in our institutions and homes are we testing reviewing and modifying our methods content and system so that the user get the best experience are our systems participatory enough is there a space for the user to leave their honest feedback honest feedback is there someone monitoring the environment to pick up the signals from future so that we can design the content of education do you know 25% of our roads are going to be electric vehicles in the next couple of years have we even started including ev sector in our curriculum yet or are we just using labels like montessori or alternative education or some other name and just giving the old good old treatment again and again uh, without actually changing the core of it gopalakrishnan and vijay lakshmi my parents started questioning what they learned in their teacher training course as they stepped into their first job as teachers this is in the 80s before even i was born they wondered how the higher educate edu- higher the education the lesser we learn to be more importantly how we miss to learn about living and learning how education corrupts us saran the alternative school was born as a result of their quest for a better education where children grow up into responsible global citizens who knows how to live and let live one of their great achievements was restoring this dried out watershed with basic ideas in innovation we don't have time to go through the whole saran story in detail so i just skip but i'll just tell you this much this is a watershed in 1983 and this is the same place in 1985 as you can see uh, the the area is covered in forest without much funds or without much of you know like even human intervention so my parents felt the basic one of the basic lesson in any child should learn is how to find a problem and find a solution for a problem by ourselves even while in the government service my parents made life situations into educational environments police station bank telephone exchange the roads nearby small town the river gram sabhas they took their students to where life actually happens the discussions and activities followed completed the picture they taught their students that equality and democracy start in our homes healthcare start in our kitchens where gender shouldn't decide the responsibilities hygiene starts with keeping one's premises clean the most important lesson was to be a lifelong student pressing matters uh, that the future generation has to face like water and energy scarcity climate change technology gap etc were part of the curriculum subject expert visited the school for special sessions and that also in one voluntary basis saran ran on the philosophy of do good the resource will follow you know how that 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 end up ends up in today's kind of world eventually the school closed down in 1998 lack of funds was one of the major reasons yes we struggled a lot but we never completely stopped our activities parents uh, students children teachers and educators kept reaching out to us and helped us keep the saran dream alive in various ways there is a notion that investing heavily on the infrastructure uniforms transportation and such physical components will improve the quality of education and we keep wondering are we doing enough quality education happens when we invest in emotions mindfulness 
thoughts and motivation motivations of everyone involved in education after all we are talking about human beings not robots yet maybe in the future uh, in the picture as we can see a founder of a startup with her child in an international tech conference growing up like this will the child need additional lessons on women empowerment i don't think so so this is an effortless uh, it can, this is this is an, an example of an effortless educational environment so as parents we observe at times the child finds a spoon a pencil a piece of paper or a trick more entertaining than a expensive toy as teachers we observe the students feel at ease at the mention of a popular game then the code actually went into it as couples we observe the best experience one can offer is the time and attention to one another it is always not about infrastructure but more about the content and the treatment or the experience i know the next question that comes up how do you scale the first question that comes up when we talk about individual attention or empathy how do you scale it i feel that is our excuse to avoid the unknown waters just now puja was mentioning you know how in one classroom how you can uh, you know provide to different types of uh, children so maybe we are like you know we are scared of of uh, getting out of our comfort zone over the last few decades the world has become more collaborative and open source and individual focused to, to solve problems ola uses around third uh, 50 third party technology products and uh, under its roof WordPress the open source platform that covers around 30% of the world wide web today is a pure open source bundle there is a community of volunteers who test contribute and translate behind the scene of WordPress you believe one size fits all is the norm i think it's a little old it's an ancient actually the cookies tracking our online activities and creating personas it tell you a different story we survived as a species on innovation and collaboration definitely not on excuses so let's get into those shoes of the students parents teachers and other players in in education let us understand and emphasize empathize with each other each user role so that we keep improving the experience of everyone included with no resource and not even having our own roof for survival we managed to do a lot after our school closed down we did a a year long training a few years ago for families so that the parents and their children understand the needs thoughts emotions and motivations of each other we used monthly camps printed materials activities at home informal gatherings and even online interactions as tools this is one scene from a camp where we were teaching i mean we were helping actually the kids to learn about wheels countries time zones and currencies this is how we utilize the international volunteers who are visiting our village for our advantage imagine the user experience for the volunteer who actually could uh, participate in something something useful rather than just you know like a site visit and go back and also imagine the ease of learning among the kids Sarang is one of the leading hosts for Azim Ramji University's MA development students for their two weeks oral immersion. When we hosted their first batch, the students left under plastic sheets, but the content and methods were appreciated. That the university invited us to share our methods with other hosts across the country. We continue to host their students. This is a university student from the US. They chose us for the cultural immersion program twice. Again. we collaborated with local institutions artists and experts to realize the experience the immersion happened away from our campus not in our facility not in our infrastructure i am about to finish it uh, give me just one more minute i can see you smiling charles uh, <laughs> where there is a will there is a way is a very you know old cliche now without resource without the, the you know the, the paraphernalia if saran could do so much with uh, you know so much in, in in education in in interventions imagine the change that can be brought in by all of you 
you have the people you have the resources and you have the infrastructure to make anything possible in education we can think of offline cluster classes with online facilitators uh, decentralizing resources to increase our reach i wonder what is not possible if we come together with the pandemic we have seen the world can in fact change overnight even the most hesitant educational system has to adapt uh, to the to the new learning online learning and things like that i mean however great is the user experience in online learning is another debate all together but anyway i think mean, you know some some changes are happening many schools reduce the load on students and we have changed universities are collaborating with corporates like google and ibm to make their courses more efficient for the students uh, parents are taking an active role in education the change is already here we just have to get ready to embrace the future otherwise we will be standing here while the next generation moves ahead the world might come to a standstill but our primary users the children they never stop growing so let's loosen up a bit collaborate and innovate so that we can design the best user experience for our future generation in our homes and our schools thank you thank you that was awesome and uh, innovate and collaborate i think we need, we need to take those words very seriously because uh, you really spoke about that and many of us have learned a lot today so thank you so much for that wonderful session uh,